those clips that you just witnessed were not from my GoPro Hero 5 Black or my iPhone 8. They're actually from my new Canon EOS Rebel T7i. Actually, this camera that is videoing right now, videoing me, is the new camera. Last week, I took my whole last year's savings and combined it with my birthday money, and I bought this incredible camera. So let's tell you a little bit about it. This camera is one of the top vlogging and YouTube content creating cameras on the market today. Don't just take my word for it. There are tons of other videographers and YouTubers and any other content creators that would recommend this for a DSLR, especially for beginners. Coming in at just $800, brand new, this camera sits kind of near the more affordable side of DSLRs. While the sight of a brand new camera is very attractive to the eye, getting a used camera can save you hundreds of dollars. Here's an example. I got my Canon EOS Rebel T7i body and lens coming in around $550. That's without tax. Plus the purchase of my $70 Rode microphone, which is up here right now. That total is $620. But with tax, it comes to be around $650. Because tax is a, is a lot when you are buying a big purchase like this. But regardless, $650 is still $150 cheaper than buying the new camera with the lens, just the body and the lens. You save $150 that you can spend on any other accessories, like a tripod, I don't know, any other mic, an SD card, which is, or I already had an SD card for mine, so I didn't have to buy that. You can also buy like a bag, a strap, or anything else like that. With all that said, let's look at some of the interior and exterior parts of the camera. First of all, it came with this 15 to 55 millimeter lens. This lens is nothing like insanely special, but I mean, for a beginner like me, who's just getting started to videography and making content on YouTube, this, can this lens is perfectly fine for me. Like I really could not wish for anything better. Maybe once I step up my videography game, maybe I'll want like a couple of other lenses, but for now, this is perfectly fine. Next, we have the actual body. My favorite part about this body is actually the flip out screen on the back. This offers the cameraman slash the person behind the camera to always view what they're videoing slash photographing, like whatever angle they're at. So if they're like parallel with the ground and they don't want to bend down or lay down or anything, all you have to do is flip the camera up and then you can see exactly what you're recording. So that is one of my favorite parts. Next, we have all the controls. So basically, on top, you just have your shooting menu, your on and off button, and the shutter button. Then on the back, you have your menu and info, and your media button, the delete button, and some others. I don't quite know the name of them yet. Lastly, on the two other sides of the camera, you have your SD card slot, HDMI inputs, mic input, and yeah, that's pretty much it on those sides. On the bottom, there's the battery holder and the tripod. Lastly, on the top of the camera, you have the microphone holder and the flash. That's basically all for the interior and exterior of the camera. So, to sum up my opinions on this camera. It is absolutely amazing. I love this camera. It's like, I know I'm not being that enthusiastic right now, but I just mm, can't say enough good things about it. There is one issue though, which is not an issue for me, it's an issue for some other content creators. This camera does not shoot in 4K. It only shoots in 1080p. It's not an issue for me as of right now, but if you're wanting to create 4K videos, then I would not recommend this camera because it has no 4K option in video. I absolutely love this camera. Like, I'm in a YouTube bass fishing tournament right now. And you guys will see the video sometime in like mid January, I think. So, just a couple weeks away, you'll see the video. And I've already used this, this camera multiple times. Like, every day I've gone out for this tournament. And um, I'm not gonna tell you anything about the tournament because that's for the tournament video. But yeah, I'm just gonna tell you that I've used this camera so many times. I've used it every day since I've got it, which is like a week and a half ago. And I'll also put a couple links where you can pick up one of these cameras or order one of these cameras in the description whether it's like canon refurbished they might be out of stock around christmas time or it's like canon new or amazon new but then also i would recommend going to if you have a local camera shop i'd recommend going to there and 
they usually, if they don't have one of these in stock or like used or new that you want to get, just ask them and they will help you find any camera you want. Like just give them a couple things about your content creating and stuff and they will find the camera for you. Like they are literally all content, well not all content creators, but they all have used a camera many times in their lives. That's why they work at the shop. Yeah, I definitely recommend going to one of your local camera stores if you have one near you. I don't have much more to say about this camera because I pretty much just summed it all up in this, this video. But um, yeah, so pretty much just don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and comment some new video ideas. Cause I don't know, I just think I would like to hear from you guys what videos I should do because you guys are the ones that are watching it and you guys are the ones that dislike or like it. Like I can't like or dislike my own videos. Yeah, just let me know what other videos you guys want to see on this channel. And now that I have a new camera, hopefully my videos will up their game. Stay tuned for some more videos and stay tuned for the tournament video that's coming out sometime in January. Like, probably mid-January. Adios.